Let us now take the last variety of data interpretation that is mixed graphs. As I've mentioned earlier, mixed graph is nothing but a combination of two or more different types of graphs. For example, here you can see we have a line graph combined with a tabular form. So this is what is called a mixed graph or a mixed variety where two different types of data presentations have been used together. As you can see here, the line graph talks about obese men, obese women and obese children from 2004 to 2009. So as you can see here, the y-axis says percentage of obese men, obese women and obese children from 2004 to 2009. Now the obese men here are represented by the line which has got circles on it, obese women by the line which have got a rhombus on it and obese children with the line which have got triangles on it. So very, very clearly we can distinguish between the three values. So for example, in 2004, the percentage of obese men was 25%, the obese women were 30% and obese children were 15%. So very easily we can identify what percentage is for women, men and children from the given graph. Now the table here shows number of men, women and children in the state over the years. So from 2004 to 2009, the number of men, women and children has been given here. So from table we know the total number of men, total number of women and total number of children for 2004 to 2009 and from graph we know obese men, obese women and obese children percentages from 2004 to 2009. That means very clearly by the combination of these two that means percentages in the line graph and totals in the tabular form we can find out the number of obese men, number of obese women and number of obese children for any of the given years. For example, let's say we have to find out how many men were obese in the year 2004. Now we know that in 2004 total men were 54,000 and the percentage of obese men in 2004 was 25%. So we can take it as 25% of 54,000. Similarly, let's say we have to find out the number of obese children in 2008. Now in 2008 the percentage of obese children is 10. So 10% of the children in 2008 were obese and total number of children in 2008 is 20,000. So 10% of 20,000 is 2,000. That means number of obese children in 2008 is 2,000. Likewise it can be done for any type of person and for any of the given years. Let us now take the various questions that have been asked along with this data. The first question given here is what was the approximate average of obese men, obese women and obese children in 2007. So here we need to find out the average of obese men, women and children in the year 2007. Now we know that from the given graph and the table we can find out the number of obese men, women and children for any of the given years. So let us find out each of those values for the year 2007 and then take the average. So obese men in 2007 can be taken as in 2007 the percentage of obese men is 35 and total men in 2007 is 66,000. So 35% of 66,000 will give us the number of obese men in 2007. So that is 35% of 66,000. Then obese women in the year 2007. The percentage given here in 2007 for women is 25% and the number of women in 2007 is 54,000. So we can take it as 25% of 54,000. And lastly, the obese children in the same year 2007 can be taken as 2007 the percentage of obese children you see is between 10 and 15. This triangle here exactly lies between 10 and 15. So we know that it can be taken as 12.5. So 12.5% of total children. Total children here is 16,000. So this will be 12.5% of 16,000. Now by simplifying all these values and taking the average, we can get the required answer. So 35% of 66,000 can be taken as 33,000 minus 9,900. That is equal to 23,100. 25% of 54,000 is 13,500. And 12.5%, we know that 12.5% is 1 by 8. So 1 by 8 of 16,000 will come out to be 2,000. Now, average number of obese men, women and children. Average can be taken as the total of all these values divided by 3. Now the total of all these values here will be 23,000 and 13,000, 36,000 plus 2,000, 38,000. And 100 and 500, 600. So 38,600, 38,600. 38,600 when divided by 3 will come out to be 
866.66. But as the question says, approximate average is required. So approximately 12,866.66 can be taken as 12,867. So we can say that the answer for this question is option number 3. That is 12,867. So it's all about picking up the right values, simplifying and doing the calculation to get the required answer. The second question here is the number of obese men in 2009 was what percent of men not suffering from obesity in the same year. So if you observe this question is in the form of x is what percent of y. The x here is the number of obese men in 2009 was what percent of and the y here is men not suffering from obesity in the same year that means in 2009 so x is what percent of y we know should be taken as x by y into 100 so x here is obese men in 2009 and y is the men who were not suffering from obesity in 2009 so the answer here should be men suffering from obesity obese men and y is the men who are not obese let's take it as non-obese men so obese men by non-obese men for the year 2009 into 100. Now we know that the obese men in 2009 will be equal to 37.5%. We find that this particular point here is between 35 and 40. So it can be taken as 37.5. So 37.5% of total men in 2009 that is 78,000. So that will give us the number of obese men. Now the point is how to find out the men who are not suffering from obesity. See, the men who are not suffering from obesity can be taken as total men minus men who are suffering from obesity. So we can find out the obese men as 37.5% of 78,000 and men who are not suffering from obesity as 78,000 minus men who are suffering from obesity. So that will give us non-obese men and then obese by non-obese in 200 will give us the required answer. But friends, that's the general way of solving the problem and it takes a lot of time to do all those calculations. But smart students will get the answer without referring to the table directly by looking at the given percentage here. We know that in the year 2009, 37.5% of the men are obese. Now it is obvious that if 37.5% men are obese, uh, the remaining 62.5% men are not suffering from obesity. Let us assume that the total men is 100%. Total as we know can always be taken as 100%. From the graph, we know that obese men is 37.5%. So the men who are not suffering from obesity will be total minus obese men. So non-obese men as the term that we have given here, non-obese men can be taken as 100 minus 37.5. That is equal to 62.5%. So we know that obese men will be 37.5% of 78,000 and non-obese men would be 62.5% of 78,000. And we have learned very well that whenever there is something common in numerator and denominator that need not be considered. So we need not worry about this 78,000 here. We can directly take up these two values as x and y respectively and get the required answer. So the answer here will be equal to 37.5 divided by 62.5 into 100. Remember friends, it is actually 37.5% of 78,000 and this is 62.5% of 78,000. But because we understand that 78,000 gets cancelled, directly take up only those things which can affect the answer here. So that is 37.5 and 62.5. Now 37.5 is 12.5 into 3 and 62.5 is 12.5 into 5. So the value here is 3 by 5 into 100. We know that 3 by 5 is 60%. So the answer for this question here is 60%. So this is how we can solve this question in a smart way by simply taking the value that is given in the line graph. So try to avoid lengthy procedures and get the answers as quickly as possible. And as I've been mentioning in all the questions, try to cut short the number of steps. If you have really understood the question, these three steps here are not required. We know that total is anyway 100%. From that 37.5% can be subtracted and it will be equal to 62.5. We need not write these things on paper there. The third question given here is, what was the ratio of obese women in 2006 to the obese men in 2008? So here, the question is based on ratio. We have to find out the ratio of obese women in 2006 is to obese men in 2008. So by simply taking up the right values from the given data, we can find out the ratio here. Now we know that the percentage of obese women in 2006 will be 20%. 
and the total women in 2006 is 60,000. So the number of obese women in 2006 can be taken as 20% of 60,000. So this will be equal to 20% of 60,000 is to obese men in 2008. The percentage of obese men in 2008 is exactly between 25 and 30. So that can be taken as 27.5%. And the total men in 2008 is 70,000. So the number of obese men in 2008 can be taken as 27.5%. That is 27.5% of 70,000. So this will be equal to 27.5% of 70,000. Now by simplifying this, we get the required answer. So zeros anyway get cancelled here. This can be taken as 2.5 into 8. And this is 2.5 into 11. So 8 into 6 is 48. And 11 into 7 is 77. So the answer here is 48 is to 77. The next question here is, what is the difference between the number of obese women and obese children together in the year 2006 and the number of obese men in the same year? So here we need to find out the difference, difference between the number of obese women and obese children together and the number of obese men in the year 2006. So that means we first of all have to find out obese women, obese children and obese men in the year 2006 and then take the difference as given in the question. Now, from the data here, we know that the percentage of obese men in 2006 is exactly between 30 and 35. So that can be taken as 32.5%. So the number of obese men in 2006 will be 32.5% of total. That is 63,000. So obese men in 2006 will be equal to 32.5% of 63,000. This will come out to be 20,475. Then the number of obese women in 2006, percentage here is equal to 20 and the total women is 60,000. So obese women can be taken as 20% of 60,000. That comes out to be 12,000. And lastly, the obese children in the same year, that means obese children in 2006. Now the percentage of obese children in 2006 year is given as 25% and the total children in 2006 is 12,000. So it can be taken as 25% of 12,000 which is equal to 3,000. So now we know the number of obese men, women and children for the year 2006. Now as given in the question we have to find out the difference. Difference of obese women and children together and the obese men. So first of all, let us add these two values. That means obese women and children together. 12,000 plus 3,000 will be equal to 15,000. So obese women and children together. That means obese women plus children here is equal to 15,000. Now we are supposed to find out the difference of this value with the obese men. Obese men we know is 20,475. So 20,475 minus 15,000 will give us the required answer. As the question says, difference between women and children together and men. So the difference of women and children with men has to be calculated. So that comes out to be 20,475 minus 15,000 which is equal to 5,475. So again as you see, a question purely based on calculation ability. The faster you do your calculation, the quicker you get your answer. So practice on calculations and make sure that you solve such silly questions as quickly as possible. Let us now look at the last question from this data here. What was the total number of children not suffering from obesity in 2004 and 2005 together? So here we need to find out the number of children who were not suffering from obesity in the given years 2004 and 2005. Now from the graph we know that in the year 2004, 15% of the children were affected by obesity. Now if 15% were affected by obesity, it is very clear that the remaining 85% of the children were not suffering from obesity. Likewise in the year 2005, we can see that 10% of the children are obese. That means they are suffering from obesity. So if 10% of the children are suffering from obesity, it is obvious that the remaining 90% were not suffering from obesity. So now we know that in 2004, 85% of the children were not affected by obesity. And in 2005, 90% of the children were not affected by obesity. So by taking the total of these two values, we get the required answer. So in 2004, the children not suffering from obesity can be taken as 85% of total children. The total children in 2004 is 15,000. 
and in 2005 the children who were not affected by obesity will be 90 percent because 10 percent are affected from obesity so remaining 90 percent will not be affected so that is 90 percent of the number of children in 2005 that is equal to 21,000 so this comes out to be 12,750 and the second value here is 90 percent of 21,000 that is nothing but 21,000 minus 2,100 18,900 now by adding these two values we get the required answer why because we need the total number of children not suffering from obesity in 4 and 5 together 2004 and 2005 together so 12,750 plus 18,900 will be equal to 31,650 so this is the answer for the last question here that is 31,650 children were not affected by obesity in the year 2004 and 2005 together. So this is how we solve the questions related to mixed graphs. It is all about understanding the given data properly, picking up the right values and doing the calculations as fast as possible. So with this mixed graphs we have finished the complete data interpretation part. As you have seen all these type of questions whether it is tables or line graphs or pie charts or mixed graphs it is all about calculations so make sure that you practice enough on calculations and various questions from this topic of data interpretation so that this becomes a trump card for you in your bank exams that's all from this topic see you in the next session thank you